Well, there you go, PowerShell. Look at you. You ran all quick like and did the thing I asked. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, building on this, all we have to do now is NC tack LP 80. So now we're listening on port 80. You see where this is going. PowerShell, show me some magic. So we can see our receiver netcat and our victim box here. So let's do attack mode, rndis underscore ethernet. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Starting a server, server starting. So that would be our windows box right here. That would be our, our key crock in that green and black terminal there. I don't know, I've only done this on Linux. On Windows, it's going to be slightly different, but not too terribly different. We should still be able to get our hack on. Let me check, let me check, oh! Well, look at that! <laughs> hey, look what I just got! That's freaking fantastic! I wonder why this uh, Windows box is requesting uh, to get uh, wpad.dat. Dot 64.1. All right, fingers crossed. Yeah? Dead bunnies. No whammies. Mmm. Totally expected that. I'm looking through Microsoft's documentation. Because that's fun. Yes. Yes. Uh, we don't have any credentials, so let's go. Let's go. Oh! Yes! Yes! Woo! Woo! We got him, son! We got him! Those keys are ours! Ah, you get it now. I mean, now it's just a matter of just piping this thing to a file, put it in the loot, have it, uh, have the payload only execute once if it already has the loot so it doesn't execute multiple times, then clean up the PowerShell code so it gets minified into a start menu thing, and then we just kick it off when the user's been inactive for over 10 minutes, but we check to make sure that they haven't hit Windows key L or Control Delete to lock the workstation! Yes! Yes! Proof of concept!